now we are going to connect our 3d printer to our computer and uh, do our initial checks and tests uh, which are required so the software that we use is Pronterface and we'll connect the USB okay and then we'll connect so as we can see the connection is established and there, there are no error messages here uh, if you are not able to connect then the number one problem to note is that uh, the port may not be selected correctly here or the baud rate might not be selected which should be the baud rate is uh, 2500000 and the port would be uh, based on your computer configuration so these are the number one problems for Pronterface not being able to connect the first thing that you need to do is to make sure this connects now we will test each axis one by one to make sure they move in the right direction so let's look at the interface here this uh, when we'll click on this button plus x here the x axis will manually move to the right and when we'll do a minus x it'll move to the left and when we'll click on the home x button the x axis should home or should go to the limit switch uh, and home to its position Likewise, this is a manual Y positive, manual Y negative, home negative. For the Z, positive Z, negative Z, and home Z. And these three uh, circles are, this is a 0.1 mm movement, this is a 1 mm movement, and this is a 10 mm movement and 100 mm movement. So we'll, uh, most usually I use a 1 mm movement to make sure, uh, while, while testing, uh, 1 mm is the best to use. So the first thing we'll do is, to check if our axis is move in the right direction so I'll give a positive X movement and see what happens here okay this is a positive X so uh, now I'm going to give a 10 10 mm movement here okay so X is moving in the right direction so uh, when I'm clicking on positive X the X axis is moving in the right direction in case this is moving in the opposite direction then what we need to do is on the ramps take out the wire and invert it and put it so the coils would be reversed and that will change the direction of the motor so this is the x-axis movement so I'm now moving to the negative side which is moving it correctly the third thing I'll check is click on the home home of the X and see uh, if it homes and hits the limit switch properly it does so which means that the homing is also right in case you are uh, you are having a problem where you are not able to uh, home or you are not you are able to not able to move the axis in one side most likely the limit switch is not installed uh, I'll just show that in a minute so I'm going to simulate by removing the X axis limit. So switch. I just removed the end stop of the X axis here. So only Y and Z are connected. And now when I click on the positive X, when I click on the positive X, I move properly. The axis moves. But when I click on the negative X here, then nothing happens. So, uh, and, and the message shows here that the end stop has been hit at this point because that is happening because the end stop is not connected at all. So that is the reason uh, if this is happening that your axis is moving in one direction and not in the other, most likely your limit switch is not connected properly. And if you home the X axis, if I home the X axis without the limit switch connected, it just moves to the positive side. So this is a sign that your limit switch is not connected properly and I'll install the limit switch back and then we'll move. Okay, I've now installed it back and when I click on home of X axis, my axis homes properly. Now let's move to the uh, Y axis. The, uh, the same thing that we did for the X axis we'll do for the Y. So for the Y also we'll do the same thing as for the X axis. 
so we will move the Y on the positive side you can see it's moving properly and we will move the Y on the negative side manually 10 mm each time and this is also happening properly I uh, will home the Y axis and this has homed as well so the lim if I'll, I'll again home the Y axis so if the limit switch is being triggered and everything works fine now let's look at the Z axis I'll manually uh, move the Z axis and for the Z axis you need to make sure that both the motors turn in the right direction so do 1 mm at a time do not do 10 mm and see if the dire motor directions are fine so I am giving a positive Z you can see mo both the motors are turning in the right direction and the entire X axis is moving towards the top of the printer which is correct likewise I'll do the negative the bed leveling video so we are going to level our heat bed here and the idea uh, the idea behind leveling the bed is to make sure that the four corners of the bed are at a same height and that the extruder is always at the same distance from the heat bed that is done by adjusting the bed leveling screws which are at the four corners and they have a spring here a compression spring here so if you tighten this these bolts the height is lowered if you loosen these bolts the height is uh, the the bed goes uh, is raised up uh, you have about 3 mm of uh, adjustable height at each of the four corners of course uh, this is the fine adjustment of the head of the bed and uh, you have the, the Z axis limit screw which is there that can be adjusted to get a coarse adjustment so what we do is we put a piece of paper and we home the Z axis Z axis is homing and we try to move the paper like this so you should feel the nozzle touching the bed but it should not be so tight that you are not able to move the paper or it tears the paper so there should not be like the paper should not be absolutely free and it should not be so tight the nozzle should not be tight that it tears the paper if it is then you adjust the bed height so I recommend that you start off by adjusting the height of the screw of this bolt here to get a proper bed height at one position. So once you get it at the one, at one position, then you move the x axis to the next position. So we move to the next position. Now we check the bed height here. I can see that this is a little tight. So it should be the same the feel of the paper should be the same at all the four corners I, I see that this is a little tight I'm not being able to move it so I'll lower I'll lower the bed so to lower the bed I will tighten this bolt just a little more okay now it is good enough so this uh, this looks good now I'll move to the next corner as I move here I feel that this is very loose the nozzle is not even touching it's quite loose so I'm going to uh, raise the bed height to raise the bed height I'm going to loosen the screw now I think the feel is good enough here at this point now I'll go to the fourth position by going to a x minus position here also I feel that the bed is a little loose so I'll raise the bed by loosening the screw now this is good enough now I will again home 
the y axis to make sure we are good here. I think now we are a little loose here also. So, I will try to tighten this up. You may need to like move the extruder assembly to one side. And once you change one screw, it is good to check all of the others as well once. Because when you change one side, you usually affect the other side as well slightly okay we are good enough we are good here so now we are our bed is leveled now we are ready to do our first 3d print <laughs> 